Lance-like complex. By a stray dog, the terrifying incident caught on camera. Tonight she's recovering from multiple bite wounds. Now on the news at 10. <laughs> Calvin collapsing roads and sliding hillsides. The problems in Rancho Palos Verdes caused by our historic storms are getting worse tonight. And more rain is on the way. Another storm in the forecast has residents racing against time to prevent further damage. Today, a portion of Dauntless Drive in the Seaview neighborhood of Rancho Palos Verdes collapsed, creating a giant crack in the road. At least two homes in the neighborhood have been red tagged. Hundreds more are threatened. We have live team coverage. Meteorologist Vera Jimenez is live with the latest on our upcoming storm. But we begin with Mary Beth McDade live in Rancho Palos Verdes. MV. <laughs> Well, Mike and Cher, this is now the largest and fastest moving landslide in North America. That's according to the city manager who says that they are doing their best to try to get at least part of their mitigation plan in the works in the next few weeks. But when you see what happened up here today, many of these residents fear that won't be fast enough. A huge chunk of road near the intersection of Dauntless Drive and Exalted in the Seaview neighborhood of Rancho Palos Verdes has seen a major shift overnight. Basically what has happened is it, it looks like the road has collapsed. Nikki Nushkin lives right by this intersection. Her home has already been damaged by the land movement with cracks all around her home, including the foundation. And she fears if something isn't done soon to stabilize the landslide, her home may become unlivable, like two of her neighbors whose homes have been red tagged. We need help. Um, our homes are in danger. Crews were out there today doing some fast fixes before the upcoming rains. The city also has crews out in other areas with tarps and fillers trying to cover or fill as many fissures as possible. It's not stopping it, it's just managing it, trying to minimize the amount of runoff entering into the fissures and recharging the water too. The Portuguese Bent Landslide Complex is massive. It's more than 700 acres and made up of five slides. It began to slide in the mid-50s when L.A. County decided to extend Crenshaw Boulevard to Palos Verdes Drive South. It used to creep about one-tenth of an inch per year. City officials say they were able to manage that. But with last year's rains and this year's record-breaking rainfalls, the land started moving several feet. It's now with the annualized rate of movement in certain areas, it's up to 10 feet a year. City officials came up with a mitigation plan all the way back to 2016, consisting of three things to stabilize the landslide. First, fill the fissures with soil or other materials. Second, steer rainwater to a storm drain system or out to the ocean with swales. And then take the groundwater out by using two different types of pumps. Dewatering wells are commonly known as vertical. They go straight into the ground where hydrogers are the horizontal uh, dewatering wells. And they use them in Malibu and over in San Pedro as well. As for funds to make this $33 million project happen, well, the city says that they have been selected by the federal government for a $23 million grant in August 2023. They say they're still working with the feds to get that money. Plus, LA County Supervisor Janice Hahn has promised another $5 million, but there's still a gap. And the city manager says now to close that $5 million gap that they are looking at their own funds plus some options with the state. He also tells us that they're hoping by the end of March or beginning in April to start installing some of those pumps that he just talked about to get some of this water out of these saturated grounds. For now, reporting live here in Rancho Palos Verdes, Mary Beth McDade. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you. A three and a half mile million, three and a half million dollar road repair project project is now underway in Studio City. Heavy rains caused multiple landslides along Mulholland Drive three weeks ago, shutting down a one-mile stretch of road. Crews will be installing steel beams, concrete panels, and catch basin drainage pipes, plus filling in the area below the mudslide locations. The impacted stretch of Mulholland Drive is expected to reopen in May. Yosemite National Park announcing it will be closed.
closed as this next major winter storm comes barreling toward the state in the coming days. Visitors are being asked to leave as soon as possible, but no later than noon tomorrow. Officials say several feet of snow is forecast throughout the park. High winds and dangerous travel conditions are expected for much of the northern and central mountains of the state. Officials say the closure is expected to last through at least Sunday at noon, depending on weather conditions. And here is meteorologist Vera Menez with a look at the Doppler for us. Be Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, in fact, the National Weather Service is really talking about those accumulation totals along the Sierras in the feet, possibly up to six to eight feet when all is said and done. As we take a look at the backstop, you can see that the rain is definitely impacting central and northern California. It is finally starting to make its way into Monterey. But again, as we focus in on the Sierras, they've been getting snow all day long. And also to remember that this system is going to stall out and it won't begin to move again until Friday night, which means that the precipitation, whether in the form of rain or snow, will continue to fall over the next